Hi. Now, what I've got here is a typical example that you're likely to get if you're doing geometric series that involve the sum to infinity. So what we've got is the second term of a geometric series is 5 and its sum to infinity is 20. And what we've got to do is find that common ratio R and the first term A. So how do we do something like this? Well, first of all, we've got to know some basic results. And you should know that the nth term in any geometric sequence or series is given by the formula ar to the power n minus 1, where a is that first term, r is the common ratio. So that means that we can start off with this first fact here, that the second term of a geometric series is 5. So using this formula, we know that a times r to the power n minus 1. Well, n would be 2, so 2 minus 1 is 1. So I've got ar to the power 1, or just simply ar, is going to equal 5. Now I can't get much mileage out of this equation because I've got two unknowns. So I need to think of using simultaneous equations then, get another equation with a and r in. So I'll number this one 1. So where do I get this next equation? Well, we've got another fact here that the sum to infinity is 20. And you should know that the sum to infinity, given by s with the subscript infinity, is given by the formula a all divided by 1 minus r. So that means that I can now say that that sum to infinity, a over 1 minus r, Let's just write it in here, is equal to 20. Now, I can develop this equation so that I can make, say, A the subject in preparation to substitute it into here. So, if I do multiply both sides by 1 minus R, I'm therefore going to get A equals 20 times 1 minus R. So, let's number that equation to say. So what I'm going to do is substitute, or sub for short, substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So that means that in place of that a, I'm going to write 20 times 1 minus r. But we're going to find that we times that by another r, so instead of putting r at the end there, I'm going to just write 20r bracket 1 minus r. So if we do that, we've got 20r times 1 minus r equals the 5 that we have here. Now I could divide through at this stage by 5 because I notice it's a common factor. And if I do that, I'm therefore going to have 4r bracket 1 minus r equals 1. I don't have to do that. I mean, I could carry on and expand this out, but uh, sooner or later it'd be a good idea to divide through by 5. Well, now I'm going to expand this out and I end up with 4r minus 4r squared equals 1. And what I've got is a quadratic equation because I've got an r squared here. And to solve a quadratic equation, I need to rearrange it, make it equal 0. So that's what we'll do next. We get 4r squared, if I add 4r squared to both sides, subtract 4r from both sides, and then plus that 1 equals 0. And I should be able to factorize this one. If not, I could use the quadratic equation formula. And this does factorize. It comes out as 2r minus 1 times another 2r minus 1 equals 0. So we've got a repeated factor here of 2r minus 1. So that means that this factor, 2r minus 1, must be equal to 0. And if I add 1 to both sides, 2r would equal 1, and then divide by 2, I'd get that r equals a half. So that common ratio is going to be a half. I've got to find that first term. 
and I could now do that by substituting r equals a half either into 1 or 2. I prefer to go into 2 purely because it gives me a immediately so I'm just going to sub in to 2 and so that gives me a equals 20 times 1 minus r, 1 minus a half in other words which is a half and 20 times a half is going to be 10 so that first term is going to be 10. Okay well that's essentially the question done. It's well worth just noting at this point not that one is being asked how quickly this series tends to 20, a total of 20 because we now know that the first term is 10 and if we were to add the second term which would be 10 times a half that would be 5 and so on 5 times a half is 5 over 2 and if we do this for say I don't know let's say we go for 7 terms 5 quarters plus 5 eighths plus 5 sixteenths plus 5 over 32 that total comes to 19.84375 look how quickly that is tending to our sum to infinity of 20. Okay, anyway, I hope that's given you some idea of how to handle questions like this. And that brings us to the end now of this example.